Where did the rain begin to beat us? Where did we stop listening to the people? President William Ruto and I were the darling of the Kenyan people. By listening to them, by engaging them. And as a government, we have established institutions to ensure we not only listen to Kenyans, but also genuinely understand their concerns. We invest significant resources in these institutions, particularly the National Intelligence Service for this purpose. It is clear there has been a failure in the intelligence and advice we are receiving, particularly concerning crucial government policies. The President of the Republic of Kenya today has admitted that it has come to his attention that the people of Kenya did not want anything to do with the Finance Bill 2024. The President has now agreed that we need to listen to the people. And I sympathize with my boss, President William Ruto, because this information was not available to him. I know President William Ruto. Had he known two months ago that the people of Kenya did not want anything to do with the Finance Bill 2024, he would not have asked his parliamentary party to push it through. Yet, we have an organization paid by the public to give him and government such information. And that is where the problem is. We have a dysfunctional national intelligence service that has exposed the president, the government, and the people of Kenya. Had the national intelligence service briefed the president two months ago about how the people of Kenya feel about the finance bill 2024, so many Kenyans would not have died. Property would not have been destroyed. Offices would not have been touched. There would have been no mayhem. But they slept on the job. It had to take people to die, property to be destroyed, protests across the country for the president to know the truth of what the people of Kenya feel. Yet, there is an organization paid for by the public to brief the president and the government about the feeling of the Kenyan people. Officers of the National Intelligence Service, have, of officers of the National Police Service have told me in confidence they did not get advance intelligence briefs about the magnitude of the protest in Eldoret, in Kericho, in Nairobi, in Gedurai, in Embu, in Nyeri. Since independence, there has been protests in, around parliament. Never have protesters invaded and gotten inside parliament. Senior officers have told me in confidence they did not have an advance intelligence brief about the intensity of the protests so that they prepare in advance. The National Intelligence Service slept on the job. And the problem is simple. The Director General of the National Intelligence Service, Nurdin Haji, was a junior officer in the National Intelligence Service before he was appointed as DPP. When he was appointed to the office of the Director General, because of inferiority complex, he chased away all the people who were senior to him when he was in the service. They are for crippling the capacity of that service and making it dysfunctional. Three directors were chased away and reassigned to desk jobs in ministries across government. Thirteen assistant directors, men and women with proven track record of intelligence collection and analysis, were removed from the National Intelligence Service, leaving a shell under a clueless director general who has no capacity to run the organization. And that is why the security sector was caught off guard by the intensity, the anger of the Kenyan people 
the agitation of the Kenyan people, the Leslians of the Kenyan people, had Nuruddin Hajj done his job, we will not be where we are today. He has no capacity. He is out of the country most of the time on business trips. The country is on his own. My boss president, William Muto, is exposed that he has to back down and admit that he has had the people of Kenya. Yet this matter has been in public domain for the last two months. I want to say that Nudin Hajj must take responsibility for the deaths that occurred. He must take responsibility for the mayhem. He must take responsibility for failing President William Ruto. He must take responsibility for failing the government of the Republic of Kenya. He must take responsibility for failing the Kenyan nation by not doing his job and advising correctly. And he must do the honorable thing, not just take responsibility, but resign from that office and allow the president to pick a competent director general. I want to request President William Ruto to consider as a matter of urgency to recall the three directors who are removed from the service and the 13 assistant directors to come and help reconstruct the service and get sanity back to the National Intelligence Service to serve the president, the government, and the people of Kenya. President William Ruto deserves best, better. He deserves a director general who knows what he's doing. He deserves a National Intelligence Service that is effective and that can analyze situations and keep him and the government informed.